What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the strongman gym in Miami where strength is everything. And strength is everything. And if you doubt that shit, read a book. Or get under a barbell. Fuck. Uh, just making a rant, actually. Uh, by the title, you can obviously tell uh, that I'm going to rant because it's not really a question. Um, and it goes, why is training CrossFitters so fucking hard? And I believe that I've had this conversation with other coaches and trainers that are not CrossFitters, that train CrossFitters, and I've come to my own conclusion. And there's a couple things that I think are most difficult with dealing with them. Um, and I would say this, like I would talk about any other sport and any other athlete. So if you're sensitive, then you should A, not watch my channel ever, and B, get a sense of humor. Um, I trained various levels of CrossFitters from the first year, beginning Kool-Aid people to lead athletes and guys that are really a name in their boxes and even, you know, head coaches and mostly coaches, actually. So um, I want you to just have patience with me. And uh, I, I obviously some of my good friends are CrossFitters, but I'm very un uh, unapologetic when it comes to my opinions because they're mine. So I hope that you take value from this and maybe uh, express... Um, you know, talk to yourself and see if this is something that's happening to you as a coach or even as somebody being coached. Um, number one, I think that it's a very difficult thing for me uh, as a coach because, you know, first of all, you, CrossFit is a sport that are filled with people who were athletes their whole life, failed athletes, or the general population. And, you know, there's other people, of course. But that's na namely what you get. You get people who've been training since they were 12 and they're just still athletic as shit. Uh, you get people who had a chance to be professional athletes or um, even military in that sense. And, you know, they couldn't make it or they got injured or something happened. And I don't mean failed in a terrible sense, but they failed. Uh, and then you have the general population. Uh, somebody who just never did anything with their life, their whole entire life. And they're 25 years old and suddenly like, okay, I'm a CrossFit expert. And they just loves CrossFit. And I get it because I've never played rugby and then I played rugby and I, you know, I don't think I was good because I don't think I was awesome, but I did okay, but I love the sport. Here's my thing, and I think anyone uh, that trains somebody who is either an ex-athlete or, you know, one of the top two, they understand that progress takes a long fucking time. They understand that in any sport, it takes a long time. When you look at a professional athlete, a boxer, a football player, these guys have been playing their whole freaking lives. A football player has probably been playing since he was eight. And when he's 24, that's years and years and years of practice that they've gone under football, food, nutrition, being tackled, everything. When you're looking at a baseball player, a boxer, boxer, most boxers have over 100 amateur fights. You're looking at 10, 15, 20 plus years to be where they're at. When you look at the top 50 CrossFitters on both sides, you're looking at people who have been athletes probably since they were kids. And now they're in their mid-20s, sometimes late-20s, even 30s. You're looking at people who have been training since they were kids, 15-plus years of training. They have that longevity mentality. Look at Rich Franny if you want to talk about the best. Dude's been doing CrossFit for four-plus years, and he was shit when he started. Shit, and I mean in the sense shit compared to what he is now. He took his shit, he did his programming, he put his time in, and now he's rather untouchable at that level. So what am I trying to say? And just to put it simple, if you're going to train for something, any sport, if you're going to consider CrossFit a sport for you, then you need to understand that everything takes time, that you don't deserve to be good just yet. It's just the way it is. I see myself as a strong man, as a small child. I'm like a little eight ounce baby's Jesus when it comes to that shit. I don't understand how hard it's going to be yet. I know that it's hard, but I know that I have a year or two before I'm even considered to be, wow, man, MDLP is probably one of the top in the nation. I see it because I see the guys that are my weight class in the nation, and they're just animals. And I can see myself, well, if I stay healthy for two years, maybe. That's how I see it. Two years of work, right? So you come into this sport, and you, what I see a lot of beginning CrossFitters is that they don't stick to a particular program. They just bounce around because it's a sport of mixed opinions and mixed sports. It's a, a 
just a, a plethora of different sports and techniques and programs. Just like the sport, it almost has no rhythm. It's just random shit, and I get it. But your training doesn't need to be like this. You're looking at guys who are four or five years in the sport, then they can get random because they've been under the barbell for freaking 15 years. But the average Joe needs a little guidance. It needs a little time. You can't just do a program for four weeks and expect to get anything. Here's my suggestion to anyone doing any fucking sport. Period. Doesn't matter where it's CrossFit, rugby, powerlifting, or strongman, whatever. Stick to a program as long as you are seeing gains. If you get PRs every week, you are blessed. Because in most strength sports or weightlifting sports, it takes weeks and months and even years to see growth. If you can get something better every week or every few weeks as a CrossFitter, stick to the fucking program. If you feel good, if you are progressing, stay to it. Everyone has a bad competition. Everyone has a bad day at the gym. Everyone gets injured and hurt. That's the fact of fucking life. That may have nothing to do with your program. It probably has something to do with your personal life and how you live your life. What I suggest to you is to give something time. doesn't matter what you do. It might not be something that you like to do. It might not be something that I believe in. It might not be something that you believe in. But if it, well, if you don't believe in it, don't do it. But you know what I mean. Stick to the program. Very simple. Number two, be yourself. Stop being what other people want you to be. It doesn't matter what fucking sport you are. When I decided to stay at 231, it's because I truly, in my heart, I wanted to be a 231 guy. I tried to get 200. I was down to 225, losing 24 pounds in about two months, three months. I looked into myself, and I really decided I look into myself. Mm, no homo or homo and I was thinking shit I want to be big I want to be bigger I want to adapt I want to just get strong and, and just be good at this weight I feel comfortable I feel great forget what anybody else says and this is what I'm going to do so real simple stuff like that to sticking to be an individual learning how to be yourself you're going to have a lot of people telling you what to do it doesn't matter unless you believe in what they're telling you so if you don't believe in something, if you don't feel right doing something, then don't do it. It can be from the biggest professional on the planet to a rookie, somebody who just stepped into the gym might give you the best advice on the planet. It really comes with belief and feeling out what you're doing, feeling out the barbell, feeling out your program. So if you can just take two things from this fucking rant that's taking me about eight minutes and a lot of good looks, it's going to be this. Stick to a fucking program. That means give it more than four weeks. I've been doing rather my same program and just tweaking it for two plus years. Give me a break. Two years on a rather same program and I keep seeing benefits. I keep seeing gains. I feel better. I look better. I'm stronger than ever. I'm faster and more powerful. And my beard looks ferocious. So clearly I'm doing something right. I feel that it's right. I, I trust in my barbell. I'm trusting enough that I let other people take my programming or train with me and they're seeing growth and benefits. So stick to a program. Give it time. You have to give it time. Like It's like a relationship. You're going to have hard times. You're going to have down times. But there's going to be most of the time it's going to be positive. And it's going to be worth the time. It's going to be worth the time you put in the bank. And number two, be yourself. Do research. Read a goddamn book. Get on fucking forums. Talk to people. Talk to coaches. Talk to professional athletes. Make a decision for yourself so you grow in the sport for the next 10, 15 plus years. Don't be a fucking child and listen to everybody else. And I'm fucking done.